Hey guys, what's up? It is Mila Ray, and welcome back to my podcast, Put a Sock in It. Oh my god, hey, no, I didn't hey. see you there. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I didn't recognize you, just came out of nowhere, you know? It was mm. like boo, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, welcome back, guys. We have a very, very special day today. Um, but before we talk about today, let's talk about yesterday. Let's talk about yesterday. Noah, what did we do yesterday? We live like five minutes away from each other. I mm-hmm. picked you up, we went to the gym. And I was like, what are we going to do today at the gym? Because we had a plan to go to the gym and then hike yeah. after. I was like, what are we, we going to do at the gym? And you were like, well, let's do some cardio. And I was like, well, we're going to hike after. But okay. Like, I didn't have any. I didn't question it. I was just like, okay, Absolutely. I love cardio. Love yeah. cardio. You love cardio. Um, you know, Noah's specialty is doing cardio and talking. Um, Noah talks a lot during cardio. Usually when I do cardio with my friends, we all, we're very silent, you know? We're just in our zone, popping the AirPods, listen to some fucking, like, Kodak Black or some fucking, like, 6 9 to get in the fucking vibes, you know? But, um, Noah here, vibes. Noah here loves good conversation when I'm trying to run my mile. Um, and also I have really bad asthma, so I was struggling, not to mention hyperventilating. Oh my god, I was also wheezing, and I was, like, trying to, like, <laughs> keep up with the conversation. Um, but my girl here... She can multitask. Yeah, I, I think. Well, when we, we were just walking on the, we were walking on the treadmill. Yeah, we were going up some incline. It was like it was giving ten point yeah. five incline. But I feel like it just <laughs> makes the time fly so. Like I feel like we were on the treadmill and then we blinked and then we it was like oh we've been on here for thirty five minutes. Did. No, you did. I was dying. <laughs> Larry was over there grabbing <laughs> the handlebars and pulling himself up. I was literally <laughs> dying. I was trying my hardest to just. Because you were so invested in the conversation that I felt bad if I just ignored you. Yeah, it was a good so conversation. So I was like, no, li- literally, like fully dying. <laughs> and then we went hiking for like fucking an hour. And I yeah, was just and then like, we picked up Curtis and Markel, and uh-huh. then we went hiking, and mm-hmm. that was fun. I love a good hike. The hike was fun. I t- asked Greg, though, I was miserable after. My Why? entire body was begging oh, well, for we help. Oh, good double cardio. I feel like if we went to the gym and like strictly did like- We, we would have been fine, but arms like- Arms or upper body. Gains, bruh. I guess. Never but, doing this shit again, though. Like, I do want to hike, like, I mean, because the hiking spot that we went to is, like, a great hiking spot. Don't get me wrong. Great we should views. New ones. We should, like, try different ones. I think yeah. that'd be fun. And, me like, too. maybe in the summer, some that, some that lead to, like, waterfalls or, like, <gasps> something at the end, you if know? Because we there we was no end. Waterfall. That'd be so nice to, like, oh, my God, I know Arizona spot, has actually. some good spots for that. Yeah, I was want to pull up. Should we go to Arizona? We should. Comment down below if we should go to Arizona. If there's any cool hikes that you guys know of, that'd be fun. We're big hikers now. Mm-hmm. Hey, future we me. Get, like, we should get like hella hiking gear. <gasps> we should intense. Oh, we oh should get God. the walking sticks and everything. We oh should get God. some boots. This, this is literally like, this is this is our new thing. I, I would love for hiking to be this our new, new thing. thing. It's very adventurous and mm-hmm. it's very outdoorsy. And it's, and it's, it's not good something for I would, it's good for me. It's good for your soul too. I would never do this. Being outside. You're bringing a lot out of me. You know that, right? That's good. It's a good, this it's a good is friendship. a sign for y'all to go hiking with your friends. You Actually. know, get the fuck up. Get off of TikTok. Stop scrolling through for you page. It's not going to change. Get off of Twitter. Like, you're reading basically nonsense. Go outside and hike with your friends. Like, or walk Look around. At you. Look at me. Look at you. Hey, future me. How was hiking? Guys, I promise you I'm not, po- like, holding a gun to his head. Oh, no. Like, fully, there's a gun under the table with his toe. Just... It's the toe with the trigger. <laughs> the <toe? laughs> yeah. After the hike, we went to lunch at, like, a... That we, no your one place. cares about our lunch. Okay, let's talk about Euphoria. Let's talk about that. Should we talk about Euphoria? Let's talk about Euphoria. Wait, that's actually a hot topic. Let's do it. This well, needs to come out like... We're going to debate really this quick. This podcast needs to come out soon then. Okay, absolutely. Because it's hot right now. It's super hot right but now. But it, it, it will of, continue to be hot because it's coming well, out every, yeah, every but week. But people want to see our opinions about it anyway. Right. Regardless if it's hot or not. Okay, let's, let's get your opinions first and I'll, I'll piggyback um, back off it. Okay, fine. I think so far the new season is amazing. <laughs> Um, let's talk about it. Let's see who... It's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster, for sure. Um, we'll go back and forth to see who our favorite characters are. My favorite character right now is Elliot. Mm, that um, like, yeah, yeah. I personally think he... I would... I would be there waiting for him with open arms, you know? If he was All ever right. sad, I would have just a hug ready. Because that boy is just amazing. Do you disagree? Oh, what do you mean? Do you think he's a horrible character? I didn't say that. Okay, I just... I think he's know. a great character. I think it's he's just, a great character. I don't know if he'd be one of my favorites. Mm, who's your favorite? Just because we just met him, you know? And I want no. I want it to be someone I've, like, grown Absolutely. with. Absolutely. I, I 100% agree. Who's your favorite? Uh, Is it giving Nate Jacobs? Because <laughs> y'all resemblance a lot. Oh, do we? Yeah, you both are crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I caught Noah staring at himself in the mirror, screaming. <laughs> 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 All the characters, like you see, you see like. The good and yeah. the bad of like all the yeah. characters, and so like after seeing both sides of mm-hmm. like all the characters, you never, I don't know, you don't really like, end up like they all kind of suck. Like yeah. they're all they all kind of suck. Um, I, I I like Lexi. I think Lexi's very cool. I think she's very unproblematic, and mm-hmm. she just like wants to write her play. Lexi's the type <laughs> of girl I feel like everyone needs to like have in their life. You know, to like she's balance just, it out. Yeah, she's just there, and she's just like. She's a good friend. She's yeah. a good sister, you know? And, like, when she, like, Hashtag when Cassie justice was missing. for fucking Lexi. Justice for Lexi. She's no, such no, a she, side character. No, everyone loves her, though. It's, it's been great. On Twitter, like, everyone loves her. Okay. So, it's like, Cassie, she's getting the recognition she deserves. Cassie, Cassie. Cassie. Like, yeah, so they just all have me. their problems. But Cassie, in particular, I am very upset Cassie with Cassie. Cassie just has, like, insecurity issues. I don't know, like, why. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't, don't want to say, just, like, I don't know why. It's just, like, it's normal to have them. I but, get like, that. And, you know, I, I understand the whole, like, being with a guy because he's bad for you and you're just stuck. It's, like, Stockholm Syndrome type shit. I understand that. But it's your best friend's ex-boyfriend. Oh, he's probably a fish she needs to. She needs to get her ass beat. There, I said it. I personally. Damn. She, yeah, she does. By who? Maddie? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Man needs to fucking rocket launch that hoe. The fuck? You're, ah, uh, I love being a little secret. Bitch, what do you mean? You're best. Oh, no, no, she's crazy. But also, that's because that's, you know, I think I resemble, I like, that's my Who biggest do you fear. Who do you it's just like the top, like, imagine my best friend dating my ex boyfriend <sighs> secretly. Oh, bullets, RPG, nuke, bomb. That's like, oh my God. It's almost like that's happened. Recently in this in this industry. Oh my god, I thought you don't want me. No, 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 not with you. But yeah, I can imagine <gasps> how hard that would be. Are we living in euphoria? Josh is Maddie. <laughs> oh my god. But it would your name. No, I'm not Nate. I'm Jules. <laughs> I know that. No, I'm Rue. I'm Rue. Oh, Rue's been a mess this uh, season. Dumb bitch. Oh, <laughs> dumb fucking bitch. I just saw like the thought process of her gaslighting and manipulating. It's so hard to it's watch. It's so hard to watch. But I'm Rue. Um, but no. Okay, let's say who do you resemblance in the show? I, I don't think I resemble any of yeah, them. Yeah, you do. Let's be honest. Come on. Who do you think I resemble? You, I know this. Why you, do you think you I resemble? You give me Fez. You give me Fez. Oh, okay. Yeah, you that give me Fez. Somewhere else. Oh, I was gonna careful. S- <laughs> I was gonna say what you really give me, but. I'm not okay, let's, let's talk like about this that. then. If you if you want to keep beating around the bush, why do you think I resemble Nate Jacobs? I mean, oh, <laughs> you really want to bring that up right now? Um, I don't think you resemble because we're jocks. Is that what it is? is it... <laughs> no. Come on, what you say? Um, I think y'all both have mental issues that rely oh, on a... <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I don't think you resemble Nate at all. Personally, if you did, I probably would not be around you. I think you resemble Fez, as in like. You always have the best interest for people. I uh, um, I mentioned that on my YouTube video. I said like, yeah, like Fez is like a drug dealer, but at the same but time, see, like you don't drug deal, you thirst trap deal. You know what I mean? It's like you're selling. <laughs> I thought you ate. I did. I thought I ate that. <laughs> oh, but um, I talked about it a little bit about like how Fez, like even though he's a drug dealer, and, like what he's doing is wrong. Like I, I hadn't seen season two at all when mm-hmm. I made the video, and I was like just going off season one and like mm-hmm. not knowing much about him. But I was like, like, I don't know why he's a drug dealer, but he seems like he's got, he, he's got I mean, he's, he good was intentions. That way, yeah. yeah, exactly. And he was like a dropout and all that stuff. But I like, like if he wasn't a drug dealer, he would be like the best character. Oh, he's got great intentions. He's like a good guy. And he like cares yeah. about like family and like all yeah. morally correct stuff okay. for the most part. <laughs> Who do I give you? Be honest. You know, you can say Maddie. Duh. <laughs> You give me a few mixtures of everything. Everything? Okay, go. Don't hurt my feelings. It's too early. It's like... I don't know why you... I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? I am... Who do you want me to compare you to? There's okay, no, like, good characters. Who do you think? Come on. Like, if if I say... you Okay, I'm just... I want to say it just because you said... I'm Am I Maddie? Like... I'm envisioning it. And if you say fucking... Cat, I'll kill you. If you say cat, I'll kill you. Wait, which one? Oh, <laughs> Cause I don't, it was, in my YouTube video, it was just me like it was fast forwarding. Then all of a sudden, I was like, "Cat's getting her bag," and then it just fast forwards again. Like it just. 
That's crazy. Cat's insane. I feel like you're yeah. really like scared to answer this question of, of who you resemble. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think, know why. Like, is it bad? No, you I think, think I'm a bad I, person. <laughs> you think I'm a bad person? I just genuinely don't know who you resemble. Okay, I'll take that. We'll just go. With, I don't like, think you want to resemble any of them. Let's really <laughs> de- let's dive deep into the world right now. Let's talk about something that has substance. Okay. Euphoria has a lot of substances. <laughs> you thought you ate that. <laughs> Who <is it? laughs> Who's your favorite artist right now in this exact moment? Uh, my favorite artist right now. In this exact moment. Like, what you listen to? Oh, you listen, like sad music, though. I like, listen to all kinds of music. What is that one art? Like, you show me a song. We're fucking at the beach. You show me and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this part. <laughs> like, who was that? It was like it was a guy. Was it Sean Mendez? Was it that one? It was. Or was it? <laughs> it wasn't Sean Mendez. Laney, I Mal- think so. Malibu Nights. Yes, I Laney? think it was that yeah. one. It's a yeah. great song. Oh my god, guys! I'm not kidding. Well, I could go through. You don't have to, friend. You don't have to. But it's I... okay. I listen to all. I listen to all it's kinds okay, of music. Yeah. What kind of music do you listen to? You listen to all kinds, right? I said your favorite artist, not like your genre or like. What I know, but I'm trying to think of like, cause I have like a favorite. I have, I think, like I could think of like a famous, uh, like my favorite rapper, and then I could think of like my favorite country artist. Mm-hmm. But like, so that answer really, like, if I say, "Oh, my favorite artist is Luis Capaldi," you're gonna think like, "Oh, this guy loves sad music," you know? But you do love it, but I don't want to think people think that's all I listen to, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I think you really over, you overthink a lot. <laughs> you just overthought that entire situation. Like I just asked you for your favorite artist. Oh, I love Giveon. I Give-Yon. love Giveon. I love Giveon. He's, He's got some flavor to you, Castillo. Giveon's fire. Um, that's fire. I love some Giveon. What about you? Right now, it's J Balvin. Love J Balvin. Mm-hmm. She know about that reggaeton. You know, perra. That's, perra. My song. <laughs> that's my song. If you put that song right now, I'll stop what I'm doing and I will fuck it up. Will you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bitch, I'm not kidding. I just like, you know me. I'm a very, not an emotional person, but then when something gets under my skin, it gets under my skin, as you saw with that phone call in the movie room. One little thing pisses me off, ticks yeah. me off. You know, has me like really, yeah, You're human. But, um, after. Where are you going with this? You know, after some, like if I'm angry, I just put that song and I promise you, mood switch. Oh. This is probably a very, um controversial topic you're so unpredictable you know that you think that about me that's the sweetest thing you've ever said <laughs> um baths you hate them baths 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 okay you you're saying baths 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 i have a list noah what no the you fuck? don't i do no, you, don't. you know i can't say mississippi <laughs> <laughs> like i have a list. Like, it only it only triggers when i say mississippi <laughs> yeah like i'm one of those girls i've always wanted to be one of those girls and i am one of those girls um but baths stop baths you what hate about, them what do you mean i hate them why do you hate baths i've never said i hated baths oh you fucking crazy you're nate jacobs Yes, you literally, in your house, they go, oh, there's a bath tub. You go, I hate baths. Dixie loves baths. Like, why don't you? Why do you hate baths? I don't have a bad relationship with baths. I really don't. I just like. Are you gaslighting me? Am I being gaslighted? No, it's, it's just. It's you not, hate, I'm not manipulating you. It's literally just disagreeing one time with, told, your, with your. I'm I'm disagreeing with you. Oh, like, you yeah. can't disagree with me. Baths are Wait, amazing. I'm, You're not allowed to I'm have an opinion. I'm disagreeing with the opinion that you thought I had on baths. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I think baths are great. I just I have a bath in you my room. Called me an ogre once, and it, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you go go back into your swamp water. But okay, right. Um, um, continue, friend. I have a bath in my in my bathroom, and it looks so aesthetic. Like it's very nice. Um, but no, I I don't I unless I'm in a hotel, I can't see myself ever like setting up the tub and just like giving myself a nice soak. And like I probably should. Like it's you probably need, nice. You might need to. However, it's like. My bath isn't the biggest, and I'm like, oh, you're a big girl. <laughs> it's a big bitch. <laughs> That's a big bitch. Um, but the hotel, <laughs> like a hotel tub, is like nice occasionally. But like, I'm, I'm not like huge on the whole concept of bath. Okay. It's more just like chill. Okay, I thought you hated baths for a second. I was gonna like, I don't hate them. It's just like I'd rather just shower and get over with it. 
Oh, maybe I'm wasting time. I take baths every day. Actually. Actually, I've only taken baths this entire time I lived in my new house. I barely take showers. Is that bad? What? Is that bad? Actually? I swear to God. Wait, that's kind of... Is that gross? I don't, kinda... think, I don't think that's gross. Personally, I'm still going on water. Well, I feel like when I... Like, even at hotels, I'll bathe, and then I'll go straight into the shower after. But see, I to feel To kind of rinse it off, because I'm soaking in, like, my bath water. Okay, I see the th- I see what you're saying. And, like, if you don't shower before, then it's just, like, all that sweat like, from, like, the day, or, like, all that built-up stuff that's on I you I don't from the sweat, day. though. Per. Okay. You know like, what I mean. <laughs> you know us girls over here. Yeah. Um, you Mississippi girl. <laughs> <laughs> um... <gasps> Yeah, okay, now you're quite, like now I feel like a dirty bitch. Like I feel like a fucking ogre. No, I don't ogre. feel like that. It's just because, how I like, feel. I thought it was normal to get in the bath and then just get out and be fine. I didn't know you had to go in the bath, take a shower to rinse off. I didn't think that was a thing. Um I don't I don't know if it's a thing. I just okay. do it cuz I just like hygiene. Double clean, I guess. Okay. Um Noah, Larry. I have something to tell you. And it's quite serious. Recently, I've been going through a dark time, mm. which has led me to do dark things. Like what? You know, just live on the dark side. Vampire vibes. Little huddy vibes. And I came across this new artist that gives me those good vibes. You may know him as the one, the only. Very special guest, very special guest today with us, guys. Um, and Dior. Dior, everyone. Woo! What's up, guys? And we're back. Um, like we said before, we introduced a very special guest. And here today with us is Ian Dior. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? Hello. Um, so, Ian, you just you have a new album out. Right. Just dropped. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? You know, at first I was a little nervous because I was, you know, blending a lot of genres. But mm-hmm. turns out they love it. Yeah. I was no, listening I, it's to so the car sick. when I picked them up. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it was like a little nerve wracking at first, but I feel like that's with every album. And now like that it's out, it's just kind of like a thousand pounds lifted off my shoulder. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine. I mean, you could, you probably have felt a similar feeling, obviously, with with your song and everything, but I've never... <laughs> the thought process of making albums insane. Just like yeah. along when I was in the studio making um, Cancelled, it just like... It's my first time ever like doing something in the studio. So just seeing the overall vibe and just just making one song and all the stress that came with just making one song, like the thought process of making an album. Well, it gets easier though. Like whenever you first start off, it, it's hard to like yeah. make one song. But once you get the hang of it, like it's making just, like two, comes. three songs a night, like yeah. And then wow. it's, it gets a little easier. Yeah. Remember our studio session? We did have a studio session. <laughs> you had one? Yeah, I had one. No, <laughs> I want to know what to bring out the um his hood side and I had him yeah. doing a, a cover what is the song Apostapa he did the entire <laughs> cover I covered of it. Apostapa with uh, 21 and YBN yeah that's hard oh my it was God. dope it was fun um, <laughs> but yeah that atmosphere like I've been in the studio a couple of times like not anything serious obviously I haven't put anything out or anything like that but just like that vibe is so dope but mm-hmm. I don't know, for anyone that has no idea like myself of like that feeling of like having something that you create and then like putting it out there, like yeah. I can't even compare it to like a, like a TikTok. Like you yeah. said down your TikTok, it's like, oh, I just created this. Like, yeah, I'm going to put it out, see how it does, you know? Like you're spending hours and hours and hours. Every single song, like is, you know how people take pictures as memories? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like music is my timestamps. Yeah. Like I remember that, I could visually remember that time and day where I like felt like that and made that song. Yeah. And I think that's what makes this album so special to me. Mm-hmm. Who has been like your favorite artist to work with? Um, you'd say you know I always work with Travis you know yeah I love working with him you know, every time you know we get in the studio we make amazing music but working with Uzi was was really I cool yeah I just you know like because awesome. he's exactly what you would think he was in person he's super animated and just yeah. like just wants to have fun yeah Sick. like the man pulled up in a fucking bulletproof armor truck like <laughs> he's he legit living in his life like GTA and, yeah. oh and I just I, I respect it yeah it's the best way to live yeah. Oh my God. What is your biggest accomplishment so far since you've like just been in LA so far? I'm very um, curious on that. You know, I, I've accomplished a lot, you know, in a short amount of time. But I think my biggest accomplishment was, you know, getting my mom her house. And, That's yeah. You know, getting her her car and you know, making sh- making sure she's settled. Like to me, that was the biggest accomplishment that I've because that's the only reason I did all this. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, to support my family. But yeah. 
That's beautiful. Oh my god! Yeah. Just like the thought process of just seeing someone's like mom happy about that. Dude, she shit. cried. So yeah, like she had no idea. Yeah. Do many people know about that too? Like, have you like put that out on the internet or anything? Like no, that? because I don't care. It's more for me. And, yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I'm the type of person where I don't put my life on the internet. Right. You know, unless I have to. Yeah. But besides that, you know, I keep to myself. Yeah. The best way to do it. People care too much of them, like have so many opinions of your life. Yeah, and, really and weird, none of their opinions matter. All that matters yeah. is what you care about Absolutely. and who cares about you. 100% agree. Right. It's fun to just show people a little bit and then they just take it around with it. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah and if they you want don't the whole every, cake. Yeah. yeah. If you don't give them every single detail, they'll... They'll create narratives. They'll create all kinds of things. And yeah, yeah people get carried away with it. And, it, and it's... It's hard sometimes. Obviously, with what we do, we kind of have to put our lives a bit more on the internet than what we probably want. Yeah. But um, it is cool, though, because you kind of, like, document it, and then, like, you have something to look back on in years, but at the same time, like, the stuff that you kind of have to deal with now about, like, what you're saying about, like, yeah, at the end of the day, like, it doesn't matter what people think, Mm -hmm. but... When you see it all everywhere, when you, you see know, it everywhere, that, that's when you that's when you need to learn how to turn off your phone. Exactly, turn it off. It takes Bro, a time. I don't. I hate my phone sometimes. I, I won't be on it for a week. Yeah, yeah. Like my manager will literally have to come to my house and be like, "Are you alive?" Yeah, you know, because that's crazy. I'd be in my own world. You know, I have a yeah. studio at the crib. I just like to record. Yeah, I've been like getting into like these weird like little hobbies like archery and shit. Archery? Oh, shit. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Let's hear about come these on, hobbies. Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> yeah, like. Um, you know, something recent, I started about a month ago, but I honestly, I love it, you know, just like pulling that arrow back. And when you hit the target, it's the best feeling. <laughs> but where do you be doing it in the backyard or what? Yeah. I have like this little like runway thing in my backyard and I have the, that's dope. Yeah. So I don't even have to leave my crib and I'll have like this instructor come over and kind of teach me how to do it. Cause I've been fucking my elbow up. Cause every time I let it go, it just, it just smacks just, my elbow. Damn. Shit fucking hurts. Yeah. I'm like, I can't, imagine. can't lie. <laughs> But, you probably um, got a real deal, like, <laughs> oh yeah, about when everything yeah, fuck you up. Yeah, <laughs> that's I've, crazy. I've been doing that, and then I, you know, I recently started golfing. I think it's oh, like, dope, love golf, a little Caucasian sport. Yeah, <laughs> I've always wanted to understand. Like, I, I went golfing with my grandfather, and I'd never understand like the premise of it. Like, what, it's what hard. It, yeah, golf I threw is... my back out because I was trying to hit the ball so hard. Oh my god! So like, there's like a certain form, like you have to make like an L whenever you swing and da da da. But I get it's top very, golf. it's very fundamental. Like it's very like pure technique. Like, it's such a chill sport. Like literally, if you just like plan it out with like some of your boys, like on like a Sunday, you can't go wrong. Yeah, and it's like it's like an eight nine hour thing that you can make it into, and it's like see, I don't be out there for that long. I don't love it yeah. that much. <laughs> but you know, just the idea of like you know just being with your friends and just hanging out. Yeah. Like, that's like the most important thing to me right it's now. It's so chill, yeah. Yeah, because that's awesome. We be working a lot. You yeah, know, all of us. You mentioned that you wanted to come out to LA, and you had something different in mind. So, like, I, you know, I was love. English was the only class that I ever passed in high school. I failed everything else, got kicked out of school. I had to go to like an alternative school, mm. and you know, I ended up graduating early because they just gave me the credits. Um, and I was really into poetry. I thought that I was going to be like an author, you know, like write poems yeah. and stuff. But then I really got into movies at the same time that I was making music. Mm-hmm. But I didn't really think the music show was going to take off. Gotcha. You know, I thought that whenever I got to L.A., I was going to be able to, you know, find the right people to like start getting into movies, maybe acting and then getting into directing because my mind never stops. Yeah. I'm always thinking of stuff, you know, like right now I'm working on a book. Um, you know, I've been doing a couple of acting roles um i'm in the nft world now you know i like to paint and i like to draw um but yeah when i moved here i kind of just fell into music and for some reason it just felt so right it's like my therapy yeah you know whenever you feel in some type of way you don't have to find a friend to talk to you you just find a beat and you say how you feel yeah and there's people out there that relate to you and i think that's the best part about it Mm. that's interesting yeah anime do you watch anime yeah at all what's your favorite anime uh, please fuck you know everybody says Naruto I mean Naruto's one of the Naruto's greatest the, ones no absolutely the like best. it's one of the greatest ones hands but down I, I like Demon Slayer I like Soul Eater mm. Um, I think actually one of my favorite ones is Parasite if you've seen that oh one. I recently just saw that on Netflix yeah it's about this kid that like wakes up one morning and he has a parasite on his hand it's like an eyeball and oh. it talks to him and it starts to control his body oh. so anybody that like 
messes with them, she straight up eats it. Eats the person. Like, We're and, he, and he doesn't know how to control it. Like, oh, it's such a good anime. Damn. And also, <laughs> forced you to watch it. Also, Death Note. Death Note Death is really, is really good. fucking yeah. good. Have you seen the new um, Demon Slayer season De- two? Yeah. You watched it? Yeah, that's what I was watching. Yeah. Oh, I need, I'm waiting for every, like all the episodes to come out because I don't want to like have to oh, wait. Part episode. one and then wait. And, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'll forget what happened in the last. Like, I just need everything just to be in one order. Because we're watching a fucking show right now and it's so annoying to have to like keep going back and just like trying to remind ourselves what happened. Yeah. In the last show, it sucks. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of shows, what is your favorite show at this exact moment? Um, it's a great question. I think for me, what will always be my favorite show, like no matter where I am in my life, I mm-hmm. think Game of Thrones will always take good answer. Damn, that's a long show. That, too. Yeah, it, it was an investment. But I, after I first watched it, I wanted to watch it again to like really understand. And then I watched it again. That bitch and is then too again. long. That bitch is way too when you, long. When, but but it's just when like, you watch something oh, again, you realize so shit that you didn't like realize when you watched it the first time. Yeah, I watched it like four times all the way through and I'm still noticing things that I haven't yeah. seen. And it's like, yeah, that that because that show is just so like complex. Like there's so much to it. There's so many stories that tie in. And I, just I've so... never watched it. I just like heard that it's really long. But it's I, good. I think you would love it. What is your favorite show at this exact moment? My favorite show? All right, this is going to sound... I don't know if this is lame, but that show, Emily in Paris, I'm fucking You like that? <laughs> yeah, I like yeah? it. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's interesting. I heard some people talking about it. What is it about? I don't know. You have to watch it. I don't want to spoil yeah. it for you, okay. but like, like I th- you for sure would love it. Okay. We were just talking about that. How yeah. like we think, or no, that wasn't you. That was, I think I was talking to that about Mario. That like going to different countries, like because we were in Italy, and people don't really like Americans that much. No, if you don't speak French, yeah, they're, they're just, just gonna... <sighs> Yeah. Like, you know, just like, <laughs> whatever. Like, you know? Yeah. That's exactly what I, happened to me. I, uh, with Emily in Paris, that's funny that you mentioned that because my, my roommate is actually like big on that right now. Him and his girl are watching that. And I was like, what's it about? Because I've heard all, obviously all about it. And like, I love Lily Collins. Like, mm-hmm. she was, she's beautiful, bro. Ever since, uh, Blindside, like, that was like my first, like, celeb crush on Blindside. And I was like, such like a wholesome crush. Like, um, because a lot of people were like, Megan Fox and Transformers, you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, mine's but, still Megan Fox. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but I was asking no my comment. friend. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking my friend about it and I was like, so what even is it? Uh like what's it about? And he was like, It's just a show. Like, I don't know. It's just yeah. like T V, like typical T V. The about, way like, they shot it and like because I always pay attention to like the shots and like everything, like they did it well. And yeah. the storyline's good. He like he compared it to New Girl. Have you seen New Girl? Mm-mm. Mm. I'm usually not into these type of shows, but gotcha, like yeah, I yeah. watched it and I was like, like next episode, like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm into it. You yeah, know? yeah. Do you sit down and like watch a good show, or do you watch like YouTube? Like, do, do I you... I prefer a show more than YouTube, but like lately I just been wanting to be out the house. Mm-hmm. Like I've been snowboarding and like oh, shit. just doing like fun stuff that you know whenever I have my free time I want to use it wisely instead of just sit at home. Interesting. And how old are you? I'm 22. 22, gotcha. How old are you guys? 23. I'm 20. 20. What's your zodiac sign? I'm going to be that person. (laughs) I was (laughs) waiting for it. (laughs) I I, I hate doing this because people in LA are like, oh, ew. What is it? No, it's him. It's Aries. (laughs) What do you you (laughs) (laughs) What do you you know about Aries? What can you tell about Pisces? Aries cusp. So, like, it's a little bit about. Oh, you're emotional as fuck, huh? Yeah. I mean, listen to my music. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That is true. Damn, you cry, huh? I do like a lot. So you ugly. I'm not. I'm, no, no, <laughs> no. Ugly. It's a cute cry. Come on. Okay. okay. I ain't crying sobbing. ugly <laughs> all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Only thing I know about Aries, I'm gonna be that fucking pressure now. I don't give a fuck if this is LA or anything. Only thing I've met, noticed about Aries is that y'all are the most hot headed people ever. Like, like you'll get ticked off easily. Okay. Damn. Who look, do you know that was Aries look, that like did it to my you? Looks. <laughs> look, I'm super nice mm-hmm. to everybody, mm-hmm. but if you fuck with somebody that I love. Or if yeah. you fuck with me, the only people I'm scared of is my mom and God. We have this segment on our podcast called Hotline. And prior to the to recording, we tweet out like a prompt with this hotline. And I think today's prompt was, tell us about your biggest ick. And ick as in like, like something you don't like? I, I mean, however people will take it. But yeah, like I think we were going for like, what's something that just like... Like icks you about it someone. Makes my spine yeah, tingle. like was it something just like yeah, like that just rubs you the wrong way with someone? Oh, with somebody or just anything? Um, well, anything. Spiders. 
Spiders for you? S- they freak me out. Really? They have too many eyes and too many legs. Yeah. And they're all hairy. Like, uh, nah, I can't do it. But I, I was also terrified of snakes, and then I got one. Mm. And I actually love them. I, yeah, I thought snakes were scary, too. Then my friend Chase has, like, Chase ha- Chase is the reason why I bought one. Really? Has, yeah. Like, what, what is, like, the little smooth one that has, yeah. like, no scales? You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen a snake? I think he probably got a no new scales. one. Okay. Yeah, he, he's been he copping a bunch up. of them. Make someone get a snake, too. Let's invest in They're snakes. honestly sweet, bro. I think my, my snake is vegan because, like, I've been trying to feed them. <laughs> and I'll put lettuce in there and there'll be little bites gone. Like, and I'm just like, all right, cool. So, <laughs> like, you're super nice. How big is he? Give me, like, a... Oh, that's a big ass fucking snake. And he's not, yeah, he's not fully grown yet. That's crazy. Yeah. He's like, I'm never going over to your house. Oh my God, yeah, that's just. <laughs> see, I could do like the baby snakes. He has the tiniest snakes, but yeah. He's so sweet. As soon as he gets past this, you know, point, it just one, scares me because it just come thing, out of nowhere. That's a worm. The one thing that made me want to get it is the guy explained to me, he doesn't know what I look like. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know what you look like or you. Yeah. All he sees is body heat. It's like infrared. What? Uh, so that's why whenever they get on you, they want to go to the warmest part of your body. Mm. In his cage, I have like heat pads everywhere except where his water is at. So he's cozy. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, so that's, like that's kind of fire. <laughs> they're more scared of us than we are of them. That yeah. is true. Because we're just these big objects. They're like, they're like what the hell is like? Yeah. Is, you know. That's snake ha- do you think snake has feelings? Like, do they fall in love? Like, yeah. Your dogs become like your best friend. They like fucking. Do you think your snakes get emotionally attached to you? Do you think your snakes will get emotionally attached to you? No, because he doesn't know what I look like. Exactly. All right, but without further ado, let's hear what some of our viewers think about their icks. Right now, I'm like getting the ick really bad. Like, ugly laughs. I don't know. I just can't <laughs> stand them. <laughs> Like really ugly laughs. That's it's up. So like, what kind weird. of ugly laugh? You gotta show us. That's fucked up. Because okay, I that, have, that's all she left no, us with. Yeah, but that's fucked up because I have an ugly laugh. So uh, that one hit. <laughs> I have the ugliest laugh ever. I think I have like multiple different laughs. I feel like it just depends. Like no, you gotta catch. If I get if something like really hits a funny spot, then it's like you start wheezing and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> start snorting and everything. <laughs> Uh, let's hear the next I, one. I want to hear her laugh. Like, who should I hear? Hi, Jada. Hi, Larae. Hello. I think Hi. right now would have to be people who are self absorbed. Mm. Like, my friend is currently making every situation about her and the guy she's talking to. So, uh, I'm mm. trying to be supportive, but so it's you're very the therapist hard. therapist right now. Mm-hmm. Love you guys. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, that's, mm. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a bad situation. Yeah. Yeah. She's dating an Aries. But I also feel like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I don't know. I feel like there's a time and place to kind of like make it about yourself once in a while, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know if that's bad to say, but I, I feel mean, like no. there's a time and place to be like, damn, I've really been like thinking about everyone else, but like, have I really been taking care of myself? And I feel, I mean, in her case, if she's, her friend's just constantly making it about her, then it's like, she might just be a little jealous. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's fine though. I don't And think... maybe she's just like insecure right now and maybe she just needs a friend, but. Probably. But yeah, I mean, just overall, just a self-absorbed person is like, yeah, it's it's not always fun to be around. Yeah. You know? No, nah, I mean, I don't want to hear about you all day. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Feel that. I felt that. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Noah talks about himself all day. No. All day. Head ass. All right, next one. <laughs> this is pretty basic, but honestly, just hearing people, like, chomp and slurp on their food. Ugh. Oh, that's it. Yeah, no, I, she left it plain and simple, I think. See, I feel like I'm being attacked because I do that, too. Ew, you're, I, really, uh, you're a gross but, eater? No, but I just be hungry as fuck, so I eat fast. And it's just, I'm not... I'm going to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> you should do an ASMR channel. Mitch, fuck you. <laughs> I am serious. That stuff does well. You troll me. <sighs> yeah, I but, like, y'all don't ever just be like, just... <sighs> I don't. I don't think I ever catch myself doing it. I like mm. if I'm ever eating, like I'd be lying if I said I didn't do that. Yeah, See, like, I just, I'll like, be honest. Like, I've been hungry, yeah. and I like I don't know. Like I'm sure you won't someone's hear me next talk. to me. Yeah, like as soon as the food comes out, it's quiet. Cause I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's probably where I fuck up at. Oh, you're loud. I'll be talking <laughs> while I'll you be, eat. Be, yeah, full communication. <laughs> I'm just when some guys, you're just like completely <laughs> chilling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's hear this next one. I would say that something that gives me the ick right now, this second, would just be people thinking they know people on social media and making up mm. these rumors and spreading lies mm. about mm. people they really don't know in person. Mm. Um, 
really just causes a lot of things for no reason. Talk so I think that's friend. Talk what's shit. giving me the ick right now. Yes, queen. Oh, she's she's trying to get some brownie points with us. Yeah, huh? yeah she, she, she said, let me get some tea. Yeah, she was like... <laughs> no, yeah, that's very annoying. I think, but that's just the conversation we were just having. Like, people do assume. People no get nosy. What we say or do. That's why you got to keep your business to yourself. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. I, I never date somebody publicly ever again. They will, they assume every why do little I feel like detail. You're <laughs> I know. I, I feel like I learned my lesson because I thought every like every before I moved to LA, I thought everyone was like, "Oh, don't put your relationship on public because people are gonna be like nosy as fuck." But I thought that was just bullshit and like a myth nah, until, true. until I true. actually did, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like y'all have opinions about everything, and if I don't post with him in this day, y'all gonna be like, "Oh, you're not with him no more." If like yeah. I don't do this with them, they're gonna be like, "Oh, like what's going on?" I like, don't believe in love anymore. Yeah. Like when they hit you with that oh, stuff, and they're God. like, "If you guys don't get married, like yeah, yeah, like all that I stuff." Mean, bro, you're what twenty three. Mm -hmm. You're not getting married. Come on. You don't know. I'm, like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Stop <laughs> some fucking kids. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this. You know, I feel like, I mean, before coming out, when people would told, when people would tell me, like, or at least early on, they were like, hey, try your best to, like, like keep some things for yourself. Like, obviously, you're an influencer and, like, try to, you yeah. know, like, put some, like, put stuff that you want to be out mm -hmm. but like for the most part they're like keep your try to keep your relationship for the most part like try offline to be selective yeah. yeah and i don't know like i feel like people could take that in a sense where they're like well isn't that kind of i don't know initially i was like that's kind of like a selfish feeling in a sense because for people that don't know like what it's like to mm -hmm. date someone publicly and have like this relationship where everyone's so invested i feel like people could be like well isn't that kind of selfish of you to like keep it from us and like that to me like i've had i had comments like that there because i've like mentioned it before i don't think that's selfish at, at all, all. No, I people think just that, don't get it yeah. i think that that's your personal business people be forgetting that we're actual real people mm -hmm. yeah. so like of yeah. course you don't want everybody knowing about your situation yeah. you know uh -huh. they think we're characters sometimes i think it's funny it's kind of dope i'll be playing into it too why <laughs> you think i'd be dressing like a character every day i'm like <laughs> different mood every day <laughs> that's funny all right let's see this next one Season two, Cassie really gives me a huge ick. I don't know what's happening to her, <laughs> but she knows better than this. That's, that's Cassie a, is a uh, in euphoria, uh, Sydney Sweeney. What I like about this season for her is just it's showing like girls really do like have Stockholm syndrome when it comes to men because like they get they'll do anything sometimes I I just for a little bit of validation from a guy who treats them like shit. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like I bet everyone watching like she said that <laughs> Cassie gives her the, the ick, and it's like. That's yeah, real she, life. Yeah, yeah. She, she hasn't. It's real she, life. Yeah, like it, it, Euphoria does it like a really, we were talking about it like before you came on and Euphoria does like a great job of showing the, like the good in the characters, but also like the bad. And then you mm -hmm. end up at the end of the day, like, damn, are any of them, like you're not really rooting for any of them, to be honest. Cause I'm rooting for Zendaya. 24 yeah. 7. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm she, for her. She's one care. that we, I feel like we all want to get better. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. We, I want her to get better. Yeah. It's hard to watch at this point. It's just like, uh, like seeing her relapse is not a good thing. So it's like, damn. But <sighs> she's really killing that role, though. No, so fucking oh, good. Oh, she's playing it too well. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's <laughs> kind of making me think, like, are you okay? Yeah. Is, 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 are you good? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> not, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's have a debate. What fast food restaurant has the best French fries? McDonald's. Wow, good one. You're weird. How am I wow, weird? you're so weird. What do you? Pick? First of all, you want to argue right now? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna give you that. Say in and out. Say yeah. in and out. Please no. say in and out. In and out. In and out. Fries taste like chalk. Trash. Yeah, they're trash. They're okay, I thought, I thought no. you were about to say. In. I would act like I'd rather. I, I fully back him on McDonald's. Who do you think has better fries than McDonald's? Chick Fil A. Okay. Those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't argue that. It, like. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Well, okay. Bro, I eat that shit every day. We'll, we'll settle. We'll, yeah, truth. we'll settle at that. We'll, set, we'll settle at that. I was literally gonna say it. The first two, th the first two fries that came to mind were <clears throat> McDonald's and Chick Fil A. I said because it's just, like, McDonald's different, fries, but so good. Yeah, McDonald's fries are they're, they're up there, perfectly sure. salted. They're just up the cookies. But the waffle fries do hit crazy. Yeah. Do you like a? Do you like a? Like a thick cut fry? Like you I know, like those it. steak fries. Mm -hmm. like, I hate. Red Robin. I don't, I don't I like know the thin ones. Really? Yeah. You like yeah. a thin one? I know. Like, I like to get a handful, like a handful of yeah. like thin ones. What is our restaurant with thin fries? Bossa Nova has crazy fries. Bossa Nova, what's that? Ooh, damn! <laughs> like you about to fuck here? Damn! I don't know what. Is, like, where are you Bossa from again? That's on I'm Sunset, from Puerto right? Rico. Actually, yeah. Born and raised. I lived there till I was five. 
was like homeless and shit. And then Damn. my dad joined the Navy, and then I'm kind of a Navy brat. Just moved mm. around a lot. That's kind of the lifestyle, though. Yeah. I mean, it was a little weird, you know, being the new kid at school every like yeah. two years. Yeah, that's but, crazy. It for yeah. sure gives you character. Yeah. Yeah. I've lived in LA my whole life, and I've never met I was someone. an outcast, though. You know, I was a kid with the hoodie on, headphones in. Yeah. Played varsity basketball. Wouldn't talk to nobody. You just go do your shit and then leave. Yeah. The only reason I was passing was for basketball. As soon as I broke my nose, like, it was just like, what's the point? No. I didn't give a yeah. fuck. My parents couldn't afford a face mask, so I was just like, all right. Like, I wanted to drop out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. You know. mm. What's your favorite cereal? You know what? Let's make it a debate topic. What's the best cereal? Oreos. Or Wait. Mini Oreos, have you had it? The mini Oreos? Oh, you're a genius. Wait, like the actual... Like I the, is, like, there's like a cereal called Oreos, no, right? Well, this well is, there's a cereal, <laughs> and then there's like the ones that come in little packets. Yeah, the mini Oreos, and you should make them a cereal. Yeah, those shits go crazy. So fucking crazy. good. Oh, God. Oh, my crazy. God. But, bitch, yo, you will have the worst <laughs> sugar come down ever after that. Oh, I bet. Be just sad. I was just, just <laughs> fatigued. I got like a... I got like a top five just because I can't like narrow it down, honestly. I got Lucky Charms, mm-hmm. Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, mm. um, Cocoa good. Pebbles, Love and cereal. probably Reese's Puffs. Okay. That's top tier. Yeah, those are like my top ones. Yeah. Right. I, if I, you can you can squeeze Fruity Pebbles in there too mm. if you want like a Fruity different. Fruity Pebbles are so good. But I usually lean like a cho- like chocolate, chocolate. Ch- I mm-hmm. can't go wrong with chocolate. Chocolate in the morning. But if you're trying. Chocolate to- Fruity Pebbles? <gasps> yeah. The I've chocolate never Fruity tried Pebbles. those. Is that actually a thing? Yeah, you yeah, just put the white pebbles. milk in there, next thing you know, you got chocolate milk, and you're just eating it. That sounds so good. No, that's yeah. crazy. How many siblings do you have? Uh, I'm a middle child. Really? Yeah, so I have an older sister, a younger brother. I was the fucking... The middle child. I've uh, never ever... I was the kid that was always getting in trouble. Mm. Like, at one point, I figured out that if I take the battery out of my G-Shock, mm-hmm. they become magnets, and I'd put it on the security system, and I would freeze it. And this one I lived oh. in Virginia, so I'd sneak out all night and go <laughs> skate, skate with my friends. Oh my god, that's and, crazy! And then I showed my sister how to do it, and she fucking got caught the first time. So like, <laughs> I was, I was fucked. It I almost ruined it for you. Huh? It ruined everything. Damn, you get psyched <laughs> out and everything. <laughs> still love her, still love her. But yeah, I think without further ado, I think we we covered everything, and this was a good podcast episode. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure you guys go check out Ian Dior's new album. And on all socials at Ian Dior. Mm-hmm. Um, Ian, Is thank it? you for coming on. Yo, thank you guys for having me. Of this course. was actually really fun. Yeah, of course. Of good course. times. Of good course. times here. Stream every fucking song on his album. To all my fans, I love you guys. You know, this album took two years, but it's finally here, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And to everybody out there, don't let nobody stop you doing for whatever the fuck you want to do. Chase your dreams. Bye. I'm Ian Dior. I'm out. Peace. Peace, guys. <laughs>